I'm uh, 26 years old and I have a company in Italy that is growing up. Yes, I'm an entrepreneur and uh, I'm trying to help my country uh, as an entrepreneur. Political parties usually are not always aligned to all the ideas. And because we, are, we have no democratic uh, republicans, just two political parties, but we have a lot of political parties, um, for our electoral system, it's very difficult uh, for someone to have enough votes. And this is why for the last years we didn't, uh, um, we didn't, we, we didn't find uh, uh, a political party that was able to achieve this goal. Nowadays, the situation is that uh, there are two political parties totally different that in the past they used to fight against each other. Uh, one is Lega, one is uh, Movimento Cinque Stelle. Uh, but uh, uh, even if together they, didn't, they don't have any competitors because they have a lot of votes, uh, um, they are new at the government. And uh, per now, some results that they achieve uh, were not uh, so amazing. And we have the problem of the spread, we have the problem of the pressure of the uh, EU. So nowadays, I think that the problem for the government now is not about the uh, votes, but it's about uh, the pressure from the, uh, from the economics and from the EU. So I'm not able to say if they are able to keep the power even in the next years. One problem that is not a problem, because I think that is something that is, uh, that is good for, uh, for the population, to have a political party that better represents your ideas. But unfortunately, sometimes uh, it creates some, some problems. And uh, the fact that the last five governments we, we didn't vote, it means that the prime minister that has uh, that at the country, um, they probably were more uh, focused on uh, how to keep the power the following year instead to think about uh, what Italy um, has to become in the next 20 years. Of course, uh, we had a financial crisis. Uh, <clears throat> nowadays, we are not growing as much as uh, the other countries. But uh, the economy of Italy is very strong. We are uh, uh, inside the G7, so we are one of the strongest country in the world, and one of the main important, most important. Um, so I think that the frustration is probably because we are not growing up as much as the others, because we are inside the G7, so the situation either is not bad. Um, I think that it's about the future, and uh, probably the, the problem is the, the government that is not solid. Um, the last governments were not elected, so as I say, the, the prime minister probably paid more attention to what to do in the short period to uh, achieve enough votes to continue to have the power instead to think about Italy in the next 10 years, 20 years. And I think that this is what we need now, a strong leader that uh, has enough votes and, um, and is able, uh, with, of course, with, um, even with the skills, uh, to help Italy to grow up, but not only for the next year, in the long period. 
the first suggestion is just to roll their sleeves up and uh, be positive because uh, I think it's the first step to improve uh, yourself uh, um, and uh, to give your little help to the country. If you start to do well, to improve yourself and to become better, everything starts to be possible. So sometimes I, I used to listen a lot of young people that uh, um, used to be sad because they are not able to find uh, uh, a job, they are not able uh, to study in a, in a good university or uh, no one is going to hire them and other problems and they used to uh, be sad and pretend. Um, the government has to give me this, uh, they don't give me this, uh, they don't give me that, uh, everything is bad because of the others. Uh, I think that this kind of uh, attitude is not good. Uh, because it's not, it's, it's not going to help nothing, you or the others. 